Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Molly and today I'm showing you guys all of my favorite products at the moment So I just have a couple things that I've been using like all the time that I've been loving and some foods that I've been eating a lot lately So I thought I would sh share with you guys what those have been so I guess that's really all I have to say before I start <laughs> hair products so i've been loving curling my hair recently i have no idea why i just love having my hair curled my hair is very very straight and flat um i have it up because i'm gonna be going to practice a little bit tonight but i've been having it curled a lot lately and i've been using a lot of products like to make them my curls stay and they just look really nice so if you want to see all of the products that i use then go check out that video i did on how to curl my hair it's gonna be in the little corner but but i wanted to add in one product because i got this a little bit while after i filmed that video and like uploaded it but this is just the nourishing coconut milk anti breakage serum by OGX so I've been loving putting this in the ends of my hair when my hair is curled because it just gives it a nice shine and like it just looks really healthy so I don't know I think it helps my hair not break so much from all the heat because I have been curling it a lot so I've been liking this product a lot lately moving on to makeup so there have been a couple makeup products that I've been using a lot most of these you you saw in my birthday haul um so I have the benefit brow products which is the 24-hour brow setter and precisely my brow pencil so these are just the mini versions but this is just a clear gel that you use to set your brows um i have some on right now i don't have the pencil on but it literally just holds them in place and like lets you brush them up however you want and then this just fills them in a little bit but i never used to do my brows and then once i found this product i've been doing them a lot lately because i've been liking the way they look with this pencil on so. so yeah i've been using those two brow products then i've been using the tarte c hydro sealer this is adorable look at it it's so cute and tiny this is the shade 20 n um it's a little bit dark it's it's more for when I'm tan so I'm probably gonna go back and get a lighter version from when I'm like the winter but it's just like so hydrating and it just blends so nicely into the skin I don't know I've just been really liking the way that looks on my skin yeah I just been loving the way that looks um on like under my eyes and stuff and that's like just another little um, face product so I've been really liking that concealer and then moving on to lashes so I don't know if you guys have noticed but I have been doing my lashes a little bit differently lately they look pretty long and that is thanks to some new um mascara so this is the essence volume booster lash primer so this goes on your lashes white and you put it on before your mascara and it just brushes them out it gives them length and a little bit of volume and then um, I've been going in with two other essence mascaras this one is the volume stylist 18 hour curl and hold mascara and then this one is the get big lashes volume boost this one's waterproof and I've just been putting those right over the primer and I've been getting this every day I've been really happy with the way they look so I really recommend these mascaras they're so cheap they're like $4.99, $3.99. So it only cost me like $12 for all three of these because I think they had like a buy one get one half off sale when I was getting them at Ulta. So I just wanted like a cheap lash primer to start out and I was like looking for like a new mascara just to try because I usually use my Buxom one but I tried these and I love them. So I 10 out of 10 recommend these, these lash products. Since I've been loving some foods recently, I thought I would share what those foods were so that way you guys could try them if you wanted to. They're not the healthiest but that's okay because the first one is just Eggo waffles, just like regular waffles, the ones you put in the toaster. They have been so good for breakfast lately. You just toast them, add some butter and some syrup, and I don't know why I've been loving them, but they're amazing. Those, and then also bantam bagels. So if you know what bantam bagels are, they sell them at Starbucks. They're just little, like they're mini bagels, like that big, almost like the center of a bagel. They look almost like a munchkin. They're just like little circles and they're filled with cream cheese. They're so good. I like the plain ones, just like the plain bagel, plain cream cheese. They have different flavors. I don't really know what flavors they have, but I like the plain ones. So you can buy them a box of them and there's like a box of six so you can if you look on the bantam bagel website you can like track like where they are in your area which is really cool but yeah i've been liking bantam bagels for breakfast lately i'll put a picture of what they look like because i don't have any right now because i ate them all yeah i've been loving that and then i've also been loving apples and peanut butter so literally just cutting up an apple and having it with some peanut butter or almond butter i prefer peanut butter just because it has more flavor to it i feel like almond butter is a little bit too dry it's still good but um i like peanut butter so i usually have an apple and peanut butter either for breakfast or like a snack and it's just so good so those are my favorite foods lately and then candy i'm moving on to candy because lately i have been eating these airhead extreme bites so if you know what these are they're really good they just look like that but i've been putting in the, putting them in these really cute jars so these jars are actually the starbucks at home like coffee things like the frappuccino bottles and so i just wash them out when i'm done drinking one because i like the caramel ones those have been another thing i've been liking lately it's in this bottle but it's in this bottle i just take the raw 
wrapper off and then I put tape on the top so that way you can't see like the Starbucks logo but it's really cute and they just look I don't know I just like having them on my desk and I have some snacks of candy every once in a while all right now I'm gonna do books so I'm not the biggest reader I used to like to read when I was little but I kind of grew out of that a little bit however I had to read a book for summer reading because I start school in like two weeks not even I start school on August 24th so I had to start my summer reading but I t ended up really liking the book that I chose and I finished it within three days so this is when breath becomes air it's a really good book the author wrote this book about like his life I feel like I shouldn't say like what it's about but he he basically he was a neurosurgeon and, he, and then he had cancer but that's what I'm gonna say about it because otherwise I'm gonna have to say too much about it but if you want to look up like a thing it will tell you all about it like I because like before I start a summer reading book I always look up a little description and it kind of told me everything but the book is so interesting to read so like I would recommend this even though I had to read it like I had to read it for school I actually really ended up liking it so that's a good book I'm not gonna explain what it's about because then I'm gonna spoil the entire thing next book this book I started reading a couple months ago seven the seven habits of ha highly effective teens it's like a productivity book it's trying to just like transform your life um they have one like for adults but this one's like the teen teen one um I've been like highlighting things like I don't know it's just like to be more positive like to be more productive get stuff done on time don't procrastinate stuff like that like things that I usually don't really do but like occasionally do so like I don't know it's actually kind of a good book and I've been like marking pages because like at the end of every chapter it like gives you like challenges of things you should be do you should do so I just bookmark those and like some of the stories because like I guess like the author had kids write about stories of things that they've done like so some of the stories are interesting too but yeah that's the book I've been reading. I'm it's I'm in the middle of it. Um, I don't usually like to read more than one book at once, but obviously that was summer reading, and this is not really like an actual book. It's like it is, but it's not. It's like an actual book, but since it's like about like productivity stuff like that, I, I'm okay with reading another book at a time. It's not like nonfiction and stuff like that. It's like if that make any sense. Well, another thing that I've been loving is my iPad, and more specifically, Good Notes. Um, I've been loving Good Notes to use for planning, for like YouTube videos, like literally anything. I'm not gonna go like how I use it because if you want me to show you guys how I use good notes um actually I'll definitely do a video on how I use good notes I'll probably wait until school starts until I start taking notes on my iPad for school so I'll definitely do like how I how I use it but yeah okay then I've also been loving my planner so I got this planner at Target so this is my planner it reminds me of Kate Spade it's just black and white striped with gold accents um it's a day designer planner from July 2020 to June 2021 and it's pink accents inside and it comes with stickers which I love and then there's a folder and there's a folder on it, so which I think is really cool. Um, this is just like my key coloring system for my things. So I'm just going to cover it because like I have like personal things. But then I also put a thing. I just put some sticky notes there. And then I just have some, I literally just have paper to write on. And then I have like my time, my time schedule template. So I like this planner a lot. I'm going to go to a month that I haven't done yet. Just so you guys can like see a big thing. Um, because the days on the monthly calendar are lined. And then when you get to the dailies, there's a schedule like for the day. And then there's a to-do list. So you can like check off your to-dos, which I think is really cool. So I've been liking this planner. It's been really helpful and I've been planning a lot. I'm a very, very big planner. I plan everything. So I've been loving it. Those are all of my current favorite products and like things. I'm wrapping this video up because I'm going to go eat my bruschetta and then I have to go to practice in a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will just see you all in my next video on Monday. Bye guys.